bring the Stanley Cup back to Colorado. I am, thank you all so much today. Let's, let's, let's do this first. We got to celebrate our, uh, our, our, our cheerleaders today and our drum lines today. Make some noise for the South High Rebels. Yeah. Cheer and drum line in the house. Yeah. How about our East High School Palms in the house? Yeah. And the internationally known and recognized Mount Bello cheerleading drum line. Yeah. In the house! Were y'all ready to have a good time today? Huh? How, let's see if the drum like can get this. Ain't no party like an avalanche party, cause an avalanche party don't stop. Here now, ain't no party like an avalanche party, cause an avalanche party don't stop. Can y'all do that? Where are my drums? Let's go! Should we turn over here? Y'all get it? Uh oh, there it is. Ain't no party like an avalanche party cause an avalanche party don't stop. Hit it now. Ain't no party like an avalanche party cause an avalanche party. Y'all join now. Let's go. Ain't no party. One time. One more. Ain't no party like an avalanche party cause an avalanche party don't stop. Hey, make some noise. We are so excited for our ass right now. They're playing some exciting, exciting hockey. And we couldn't be prouder of the fact that they fought their way into the second round, taking on the, that other team. But Bernie, we're going to win, right? We're going to win, right? We were so proud of our avalanches. They demolished Calgary, uh, the number one team in the West. They thought they were until they went toe-to-toe -to -toe against our avalanche. And so tonight, uh, we're going to help our avalanche even the score against those sharks, right? Yeah. Oh, y'all got to wake up now. This is supposed to be a rally for the avalanche. Are we ready to spear the sharks? Yeah. We expect they're going to be taking it all the way, uh, all the way to the Stanley Cup. And we got to bring the Stanley Cup back to Colorado where it belongs. And so let's make some noise for our Colorado Avalanches, they get ready to take on the San Jose Sharks and bring home, and bring home the Stanley Cup. Hey, Bernie, I heard you have something for me. Whoa, look at this. What you got for me? Look at this. Come on, come on, come on. Let's make some step aside. Let's take a picture. Y'all make some noise for Bernie, the great mascot of our Colorado Avalanche. Thank you, Bernie. We ready to win? Yeah? Ready to win? Get them going. Uh-oh. Hey, Ben, y'all ready? Uh -oh. What? What? What's going on? What? Rocky? Rocky? We already did your rally. What's up? You're kidding, Rock. We got to tell the crowd that. Should we do it? Bernie, what do you think? Should we do it? This is big news. Should we do it? Oh, my God. We have breaking news, everyone. Not only do we expect our Colorado Avalanche to bring home the Stanley Cup, and we expect our Denver Nuggets to bring home the NBA championship. But, but we just got some exciting news tonight. This is big news for Denver and all of the Rocky Mountain region. Thank you, Rocky, for bringing us a new. I need a drum roll because this is big stuff. Give me a drum roll. Oh, yeah. I get the honor of announcing. Hey, Rocky and Bernie, y'all going to open that up for us? That the Cronky family, Stan and Josh, and our Denver Nuggets and Avalanche have agreed to extend their stay in Denver until 2040. Come on, y'all, make some noise. That's big news. Rocky, thank you. I, listen, this is something we've been working on for about five years now, and I'm going to bring up a couple of folks. People don't realize that the lease of our professional teams, the Avalanche and the Nuggets, was to expire in 2023. 
and we started talking with the Kroenke family, Stan and Josh, uh, several years ago, about five years ago, and we just eclipsed the deal to extend their stay until 2040 in Denver, Colorado. Let's make some noise one more time. I, I'm going to bring up uh, the Executive Vice President, Chief Operating Officer, Matt Hutchins of uh, Kroenke, and of course our City Attorney, Kristen Bronson. Come on up here. We also have CFO, Bruce Glazer, and General Counsel, Steven Steinecker. Come on up here and tell us about this deal. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm excited to be here. Um, the original uh, deal on the Pepsi Center was a 25-year agreement. Um, and it was set to expire in 2023. I want to bring City Council up also. I know City Council members, Debbie Ortega. I know Albus Brooks is here. If any other City Councils, we come on, Chris Herndon, Jolan Clark. Come on up, you guys. So our original Pepsi Center deal, and I want to recognize that City Councilwoman Debbie Ortega was on the original negotiating team for that, ag that agreement. And so thank you for being here today, Councilwoman Ortega. That was a 25-year deal, and I don't think many people knew it was set to expire in 2023. The Kroenke team pr approached us uh, early on uh, about renegotiating an arrangement, and we were more than excited to, to uh, talk with them and to reach this agreement today. So we are very proud that this, with this new agreement, which we're gonna be presenting to City Council in just a few weeks, uh, that we will be able to cheer on the Denver Nuggets and the Colorado Avalanche for decades to come. Yeah. So I do wanna make sure that I put out a few thank yous because this uh, took a lot of hard work uh, and I wanna thank the Kroenke team and particularly Jim Martin, Matt, Matt Hunchings and Bruce Glazer. Thank you guys so much and thank you to your legal team, David Foster and Kirsten Beck. We really appreciate you all's hard work on getting this deal done. Also from our team, I wanna thank our Chief Projects Officer, Diane Barrett and from the City Attorney's Office, Brad Beck. Uh, they were instrumental in getting, this, getting us to where we are today. So go Rockies, go Nuggets, go Broncos, go Avalanche. Way to go, guys. Matt, you want to say a few words? Thank you, Mayor. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Mayor Hancock, all of our city council members and distinguished guests and members of the media. We appreciate you guys being here. Rocky and Bernie, how about that? Awesome. This tentative agreement is important for Stan and Josh Kroenke and the Kroenke family as they look to continue their long-term relationship with this great city. The Kroenke family's investments in Colorado run deep like those of our teams and the incredible sports and entertainment venues that we built and that we manage. So on behalf of Stan and Josh, the Kroenke family, and all of the Kroenke sports and entertainment employees, we're excited to be a part of this great city and county of Denver the great state of Colorado, and really the Rocky Mountain region. Thank you so much for everything. We appreciate the support, and we hope everybody has a great day. Go Nuggets, right? Go Avalanche. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you all so much. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Where's MLK Drumline? Where are you? Sorry about that. MLK, we see you up there. Thank you, MLK Drumline. Thank you. And again, thank you to the Kroenke family, to the Kroenke Enterprises for staying with Denver and staying with our region. I think it's been a great partnership. We love our Colorado Avalanche. We love our Denver Nuggets. And we expect championships for many years to come. They're here in Denver until 2040 and beyond. Thank you for your commitment to all of us. Thank you, City Attorney's Office. Where did Kristen go? Thank you, our City Attorney's Office. And thank all of you for coming. Remember, let's keep rooting on our professional sports team. We are unique in the nation because of seven professional teams, and we're excited that they have committed, uh, the Kroenke team and family have committed uh, to stay with us until 2040. Big news in the life of Denver today. Thank you very much, Dad. Where's my man Foster? I see you over there. Thank you. Congratulations. All right, let's get this party started, y'all. Thank you.